Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera semua. Okey, bertemu lagi kita pada hari ini uh, untuk sesi Live Classroom and ED Day. Okey, pada pagi ini uh, kita akan bersama dengan sehazuan daripada SMKA Sultan Azlan Shah Bota Perak yang akan menyampaikan tentang tajuk uh, Right in Right in Right. Eh? Right it right eh. Right it right summary part 3. Okey iaitu untuk tajuk summary SPM model test paper. Okey tanpa uh, sebelum saya menjemput uh, sehazuan uh, suka untuk saya ingatkan kepada semua pelajar ruangan live comment hanyalah untuk bertanya ataupun menjawab soalan daripada guru sahaja. Okey mana-mana komen uh, yang saya rasa tidak apa tidak diperlukan ataupun uh, merapu akan saya delete dan akan saya block eh student tersebut jadi tolong ingat ruangan live comment hanya untuk uh, bertanya ataupun menjawab soalan daripada guru eh mohon semua pelajar alert tentang perkara tersebut eh mana-mana yang saya rasa tidak berkenaan akan saya block tak tanpa sebarang notification eh Okey, jadi tanpa membuang masa saya menjemput Sehazuan untuk menyampaikan sesi beliau. Okey, dijemput Sehazuan. Okey, um, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very pleasant morning. So, uh, today we are going to continue our session. Um, so uh, this week is going to be our third part for summary writing so everyone just uh, stay put for the rest of uh, one and a half hours not mistaken so we'll be here for one and a half hours for our classroom for our e classroom uh, thank you to edd malaysia for allowing us to be together today um so still um after looking at the responses in the google forms uh, some of you are requesting for us to discuss about uh, summary but using the real questions. So today we are going to the not real SPM question yet. We are looking at uh, model test papers uh, so that it looks like SPM level question but uh, everyone regardless of your level today during the session can participate and respond to the to the question. So how are you today? I hope everybody here are fine. Uh, it has been uh, 70 days plus after uh, since our PKP started. So I hope everybody are doing great at home. You have a lot of time um, playing with your brothers and sisters or maybe playing games, um, watching YouTube, uh, watching Netflix and so on. So um, I hope you are doing fine. Uh, if you don't have enough food and so on, let me know, but I cannot help. At least I know that you do not have enough food and we can send help to you right away. Okay, so I'm Cikgu Hazwan again, uh, English teacher. You can find me at uh, Hazwan HN Facebook and also Hazwan underscore HN in my Instagram. Okay, ah, it's not too late yet to wish everyone here Selamat Hari Raya Aidil Fitri, Maaf Zahir and Dan Batin. So, uh, Selamat Hari Raya to everybody. For those who are fasting uh, this week, uh, continuing your Ramadan for six days of Shawal. So, happy fasting. Uh, and later you can celebrate your uh, Raya twice. Okay. So, Selamat Hari Raya everyone. Uh, maaf Zahir and Batin. So, okay. Just let's, uh, let us uh, recap what we have learned before this, which is uh, summary. So, summary means make it or make a paragraph or make an essay shorter includes the facts just like a reporter so this is our 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 stand our stand to it uh, throughout this session which is what is summary summary means the act of summarizing something to make it shorter include the fact just like a reporter okay we are not novelists over here we are like a reporter okay so good morning, everyone. I can see uh, 
in the Facebook and YouTube, everybody is saying selamat pagi, good morning. So good morning, everyone. I can see a lot of names here. So uh, let's say hi to everyone. Just write hi, your name and your location in the comments and chat. I will try to entertain. I will try to read uh, if I can get one. Oh, uh, Punit Singaru. Okay. Selamat Hari Raya and Selamat Hari Gawai. That's good. So Selamat Hari Gawai as well to everyone who are celebrating it. Um, good morning and Selamat Hari Raya and Selamat Hari Gawai and um, to everyone. Okay. So I just want to know where are you from? today because uh, previously we have um, students from all over the country so I just want to see for this week our class so where are you from so I can see a hi from Kuching Sarawak okay oh, from Penang okay Robert Tay hi from Penang good um, we have uh, Arfa from Tengganu Farhan from Selangor Yvonne from Johor, Hana from Kuching. Okay, you have Sir Kate from Kuching, Sarawak as well. Ruki Haida Ain from Kuching. Okay, Jasmine from Sarawak, Alvin Yi from Para, Marina from Kuching. Wonderful, we have uh, a lot of students from all over the country. So it's good actually because you can see that you are now having new classmates on YouTube as well as on Facebook. So let's start on, let's move on. So as for today, the requirements, you need paper, you need a notebook or blank paper because you are going to jot down a little bit here and there. Um, and then you need your pen or pencil. If you need your correction tape, yes, you may use your correction tape because what we are doing today is more like what we have done uh, previously, but using the question which is quite uh, up to standard, up to SPM standard. And then you're also allowed to bring your sweets and drinks during the session. I will not stop you from drinking and uh, eating. Uh, you are allowed to bring your nasi lemak, uh, roti canai, kopi o into the session. Uh, if you feel that you want to share it with me, you can send me a uh, a food panda, so that I can taste the same nasi lemak, roti canai, kopi o with you as well. Okay. Good. Okay. I hope that everybody is ready to wear your thinking helmet. So let's start with a while, uh, by wearing your thinking helmet. And for today, the first uh, test for all of you is a spelling challenge. It's quite, uh, you, you might feel that it's quite a spelling challenge, but yeah, just let's take a look at how alert you are with the session, just to make sure that everybody are ready to go on for the rest of an hour. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is a spelling challenge. So you're going to write down your responses in the comments and chat below. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, there are five words that are spelled incorrectly. Write the correct answers in chat box or comments. Okay, so if you are on YouTube, you can write uh, the answers in your chat box. Just write all the five words or you can just write one by one. I'm going, I'm going to look, I'm going to read your answers, whether you are doing it correctly or not. And then we are going to expose to you the answers. So this is the spelling challenge. Okay, for all of you, in this uh, 12 words, there are five words that are spelled incorrectly. So write the words, or write the correct answers in the chat box or comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. Okay. Okay, good, good. Wonderful. Okay, I can see that someone is saying that the screen is blurry. If the screen is blurry, it might be due to your internet connection. You can refresh the, the browser so that you can uh, see the things clearly. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Okay, there, are five, there are five words. Okay, so... Let's take a look. So I can see Ezra, modern, hungry, and pleasant cupboard. Good. Okay, you have modern, modern, beautiful, bad, 
Okay. Covered. Okay. Okay. The first line is uh, furniture. The second and third line are like uh, expression or adjective. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. So there are five words that are spelled incorrectly. Okay. So the cupboard, beautiful, unpleasant, hungry, uh, and modern. So this is the correct spelling. Okay. Even though you pronounce it with uh, with silent P, cupboard, but still you have to spell it with C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And beautiful, hungry, modern, even though you uh, silent the R, still you need to spell it with R. Same with unpleasant, okay? Uh, even though you uh, silent the letter A, you still need to put an A when you are writing it down, uh, writing the word down. Okay, so wonderful. So everybody are ready now. Let's go to our part three of summary writing. Dush, dush. Okay, so at the end of the session today, um, participants, meaning all of you, will be able to identify main points in a passage. So uh, this is actually a long passage, but I divide it into chunks so that everybody can do it together. Okay, and then we are going to leave out unimportant details from that particular chunks of passage and write a summary of a given text. So um, as for today, we are going to look into a passage, okay? But I divided into a few paragraphs so that everybody can do this together. We are going to look at how to write summary. This is an SPM model test paper, okay? So let's recap what we learned in the previous lesson. So in previous lesson, we learned that summary is, um, helping readers to identify important points, helping readers ignore irrelevant information, integrate the central ideas in the meaningful way, and teach readers how to take a large selection of text and reduce it to the, to the main point for more concise understanding. So the idea is that what, once we summarize a, a, long text, a longer text, we can understand the text better. Okay. Okay, let's do this together. So uh, the thing that you're going to read is a passage about the uh, about drinking coffee. Okay, I know some of you dislike coffee. Some of you dislike drinking coffee. Some of you like drinking Milo, tea, and so on. Tetari, just to name a few. Okay. Um, and today we're going to read a text about drinking coffee. And then we, at the end of this session, we are going to summarize the text and write a summary on the benefits of drinking coffee. Okay, so postscript. Even though you dislike drinking coffee, okay, please remember that we are not allowed to give our own opinion when writing a summary. Okay, so meaning to say that regardless whether you like so much drinking coffee or you dislike drinking coffee when it comes to summarizing a paragraph we are not allowed to give our own opinion okay remember if we are giving our own opinion that's going to be a review of something okay so for example a film review meaning we are giving our own opinions about the movie but a summary of a movie meaning to that we retell in short what the movie is about. Okay. So, I'll give you maybe a two or three minutes to read this particular paragraph and identify the content point, which is benefits of drinking coffee. If you can see on top there, I put the, the requirement of question, which is benefits of drinking coffee. So when you read, try to identify which sentence shows the benefit of drinking coffee. In this paragraph, I just, I'm going to tell you there's only one benefit.
Okay, I hope you have read the text. Coffee is actually very healthy. It's loaded with antioxidants and beneficial nutrients that can improve your health. Drinking coffee can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. Uh, this is because it contains a stimulant called caffeine, which is the most commonly consumed substance in the world. Okay, so I can see responses here. Uh, Arfa, uh, Punit, uh, Yvonne. Okay, good. So let's take a look. The first sentence is actually a statement. It's a mere statement. Coffee is actually very healthy. It's loaded with antioxidants and beneficial nutrients that can improve your health. So that's just the statement. And then we have the next one. Drinking coffee can improve. Look at the word improve. Improve means something good. So that also means benefit. So improve your energy levels and make you smarter. So I change that color to show that that is the content point. And finally, you have the last sentence, which is this is because it contains a stimulant called caffeine, which is the most commonly consumed substance in the world. So I highlighted the word because, because it states reason. Okay, so just an explanation of why it can make you smarter and why it make you, uh, why your energy can be improved. So that's why we omit that particular sentence as well. So, voila, good one. So I can see that everybody here are giving uh, good responses. Okay. So the first point for this particular, uh, particular paragraph is drinking coffee can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. Okay, good. Give yourself a big round of applause. Okay, wonderful. You can drink now. Okay, now let's move on to the next uh, paragraph. I'm giving you another two minutes, so maybe three minutes to read. Try to identify uh, the, the points and the content points. After you drink coffee, the caffeine is absorbed into the bloodstream. From there, it travels into the brain where the caffeine blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter called adenosine. This improves energy levels, mood, and various aspects of brain function. Okay, just uh, forgive me if I pronounce this uh, inhibitory neurotransmitter wrongly, okay? I hope it's adenosine or maybe adenosine, okay? Okay, so you have this particular paragraph. So let's take a look. We have uh, one, uh, two, three sentences in this paragraph. So which one is the point? Which one is elaboration? Which one should be omitted? Okay, so I can see that um, Hannah, Deborah, Arfa, Bibi Huang, Isaac, John, uh, Subashri, okay, good, are giving good answers. On, on YouTube, okay, Punit, uh, Yvonne as well, okay, good, wonderful. So let's take a look what the first sentence is. The first sentence is just the explanation of what happened after you drink coffee. So that doesn't show any benefits of drinking coffee. It just tell you once you drink coffee, it's going to be absorbed into your bloodstream, that's all. Okay, next. So we can see that um, the second sentence, from there, it travels into the brain where the caffeine blocks an inhibitory neurotransmitter called adenosine. There's also only explanation. Okay. And since most of you are giving me answers, okay, I'm going to reveal to you, actually, there is no content point in this paragraph. Because if you look at the part, this improved energy levels, mood and various aspects of brain function, it is actually a repetition of the first point just now. 
Okay, remember the first point just now? So the first point just now is drinking. Okay, there's no point in this paragraph because energy level is actually in point number one. Okay, so the rest of the, the part in this particular paragraph is actually a repetition of the previous sentence. Okay. So there's no point in the second second part of second chunk of this paragraph. Okay. So moving on. Are you clear? If you are not clear, then then let me know. It's okay. I can see Devra is laughing over there. It's okay, Devra, uh, because everybody here is learning. So once we are learning, we can learn from each other. So you can know that somebody else knows something. Uh, you need to improve your understanding on summary and so on and so forth. Okay, so moving on. Okay, let's take a look at this, this one. Okay. So uh, read, read this one first, maybe two to three minutes. Okay. Uh, two three minutes read this particular chunk of paragraph and try to identify the content point the content point is here right now okay so did you know that caffeine is found in almost every fat burning supplement there's a good reason for that as caffeine is one of the few natural substances that have actually been proven to aid fat burning several studies show that caffeine can boost metabolic rate Hence, it helps to burn fat. Okay. So let's take a look at the, uh, uh, read this and find the content point. Okay. So I can see that, um, Yvonne, uh, Subashri, Arfa, Pune, Deborah okay, are giving answers right now. Alvin as well. Okay. Uh, Isaac, Bibi Huang are giving answers. Okay, good. Bal 2204, good. Okay. Okay, good answers, good responses. Okay. Caffeine can boost metabolic rate and then it helps to burn fat. Remember, we are identifying the points. I'm not asking you to summarize the point yet we are identifying the point okay so which part is the the point itself so let's move on if you can see that in the first uh, sentence i already uh, strike through it because it is just a rhetorical question so when it is a rhetorical question you don't need to respond to it okay rhetorical question because it's just a question so in the question, there's no answer. So it's straight away, there's no point in that particular sentence. There's a good reason for that as caffeine is one of the few natural substances that have actually been proven to aid fat burning. What kind of sentence is that? Okay. Okay, so we can say that this is the, the point over here is the point, okay? Maybe you can take the last part as well, but for me, I'll take this part as the content point, okay? There's a good reason for that as caffeine is one of the few natural substances that have actually been proven because we are talking about benefit. So the word proven shows it is the, the benefit. Or if you want to take the last part, it helps to burn fat that is also the same point. Helps shows benefit. So either you take proven to eat fat burning or helps to burn fat, those are the same point, okay? And uh, the last part of this paragraph, several studies show that caffeine can boost metabolic rate, hence it helps to burn fat. Remember, boost metabolic rate is as same as the previous one just now, okay? increase uh, energy levels and so on. It helps to burn fat, okay? So as I said just now, either you take proven to eat fat burning as your point or helps to burn fat because both 
um, both sentence shows benefit of drinking coffee. Okay, good. So the part that we are going to take is proven to eat fat burning. Okay. And also I accept for those who are saying uh, helps to burn fat. Okay, because the word help shows benefit. Okay, so a second point for today is proven to aid burning. Remember just now, the first point is drinking coffee can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. So now you can grab your, your cup of coffee if you want to, but that's not so good for SPM level student. Okay, you shouldn't drink coffee too much. Okay, you should drink a lot of plain water instead. So proven to aid fat burning is our second point or second benefit. Okay. So, are we ready to move on? So let's move on. This is the next uh, paragraph. I'm giving you uh, two to three minutes to respond to this. You can find where is the explanation, where is the content point, and where is the um, elements that need to be omitted from the summary. So caffeine stimulates the nervous system, causing it to send signals to the fat cells to break down body fat. But caffeine also increases adrenaline levels in the blood. This increase of adrenaline shows that caffeine can improve physical performance. So drinking a cup of coffee before going to gym does make sense. Oh, does make sense. Sorry. Okay. So... Ignore a spelling error over there, makes sense, okay? Didn't realize that, okay? So does make sense. Okay, so two to three minutes. Take a look at this, uh, this chunk now. So uh, we have done the first two points. Drinking coffee can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. Proven to eat fat burning. So now on this uh, particular chunk of paragraph, take a look and identify where is the content point. Okay, so you can see that um, a lot of answers over here from YouTube. You can say uh, improve physical performance. So most of you are talking about improve physical performance. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So you can see Deborah, Alvin, uh, Tessilia, John. Okay. Yvonne, Ezra, all are giving good answers, okay? Aziz Ahmad Issa, Subashari, okay? Caffeine increases adrenaline levels in the blood, okay? Increase of adrenaline. Remember, we are talking about benefits. So when, when we are talking about benefit, we have to look for um, positive words to show that is the benefit, okay? So if if you can look at this uh, this paragraph, you can see a few positive verb. For example, you can see increase, improve. Okay, so which one is the content point? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Okay, let's move on. So the first part of this uh, paragraph, caffeine stimulates and until it increases adrenaline levels in the blood. Is just explanation because we are talking about the caffeine itself. We are not talking about coffee. We are talking about the element inside there, okay, which is caffeine stimulates the nervous system, okay, increase adrenaline levels in the blood. So this increase of adrenaline shows that caffeine can improve physical performance, okay. So the benefit is actually improving physical performance, okay. And then what we have uh, on the final part. So drinking a cup of coffee before going to gym does make sense. Okay, if you can see that I highlighted the word so. So, 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 the word so shows actually a result or maybe a effect or maybe a consequences. So drinking a cup of coffee before going to gym does make sense. So referring to the previous sentence, which is talking about physical performance, we make a conclusion that drinking a cup of coffee before going to gym is a good idea. It does make sense. The word so shows that it's just a result of the previous sentence, which is improving physical 
performance. Okay, wonderful. I can see a lot of good answers. Okay. So now we have three content points already. Okay, so we have drinking coffee can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. Proven to eat fat burning can improve physical performance. Remember, we are just looking for the points directly from the text. Okay, we haven't changed any word yet. We just take the word directly from the uh, paragraph. Okay, because today we are going to summarize first. Maybe some of you are asking why we are not doing um, uh, other type of summary. But now we are just taking the point directly from the, the paragraph. Okay. So, let's take, uh, let's take a break for a while. Let's wear your thinking helmet again. And uh, let's uh, try to figure out the answer for this riddle. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. What am I? So write down your responses in comments and chat and we can see what's your, uh, how do you respond to this? Okay, so I'm getting good answers right now. You can see that um, some of you are answering fire. Okay, good. What are other answers that you think is possible for this question? Because we feed this person or this thing and he lives. If we give him a drink, he will die. Okay, so today we are talking a lot about drinking and eating, I guess, because our... Our text is about drinking coffee. Our riddle is about drinking and eating. So, uh, yeah, what's the answer? So the answer is, yeah. The answer is fire. So uh, if you feed the fire with uh, papers, dry leaves, and so on, so it'll, it'll be alive. You, If you pour water on him, on the fire, it will, it will die, simply die. Okay. So let's move on. Good. In last year, for example, maybe this year in the Ujian Satu and so on, you want to try to do it again to identify the content point and so on. Try to do it on your own using your own question. Okay. So, so uh, let's start back. Let's restart from here. So we have our three points is, uh, right now. We have drinking coffee can improve your energy. We have uh, proven to eat fat burning. We also have can improve physical performance. Now, let's move on to the next uh, chunks of paragraph. So I'll give you another two or three minutes to take a look at this uh, particular paragraph. And let's do this together to find uh, the content points. Okay. When you read, try to find the content points. Okay. Okay. So I can see uh, responses. I hope that you can, if you can hear me, uh, I hope you, you're doing great right now. Okay. Lower risk of getting diabetes. I can see Kit Park, Alvin Yee, Hannah. Okay. Uh, Punit, NR, and so on, okay, Yvonne, Ainus, 
Mina Ainun Simna. Okay, so a lot of names over here. Arfa and so on, you're doing a great job over here, giving good answers. Okay, so let's take a look. So the answer, so the first part of this uh, paragraph is actually just an explanation. Okay, coffee is uh, more than just a cup of water. Uh, many nutrients in the coffee beans can be found in the drink itself. Okay, so that is just the explanation. Okay, that's just the, the explanation of the overall uh, as paragraph. Okay, and then we have some of the nutrients are riboflavin, pantotenic acid, potassium, and magnesium. So what is that? You can see that there are certain names over there. You have riboflavin, pantotenic acid, you have um, potassium and magnesium. Okay, so that is actually the example, some of the, the examples. Okay, so we are not going to put that into our own, our summary. Okay, and finally, we have studies found that coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes, a serious disease that are affecting people worldwide. Okay, so... That is where we can find our, our next point, which is studies found that coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes, a serious disease that are affecting people worldwide. Okay. So, if you look at the last part of this uh, paragraph, okay, you have, uh, have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes. That is actually the, the content point. However, the final part of that particular paragraph is actually just elaboration of uh, diabetes. Because it says that diabetes, a serious disease that are affecting people worldwide. Okay. So now we have four points already. So we have drinking coffee can improve uh, your energy levels and make you smarter. Uh, proven to eat fat burning can improve physical performance and had, uh, have a much lower risk of getting a type 2 diabetes. Okay, so Okay So uh, for the final task for today, which is to write a summary, uh, you are going to begin your summary as follows. One benefit of drinking coffee is that it can improve dot, dot, dot. Okay. So using these four points, try to uh, write your own summary. Okay. I, I think it's quite impossible for you to write your responses in this uh, chat. But at the end of the session, I will give you uh, a link, an exit ticket, so you can put your summary there in your exit ticket, so that I can see and respond to your to your summary. Okay, but at least for the purpose of car, uh, the for the purpose of this class, if you feel that you want to write it down in your chat, yes, you may, because this is going to be around forty words. Okay. 40 words uh, summary, okay? So you can you can try to do this and I'll, we, will, we are going to uh, go through this together, okay? So one benefit, we are going to start your summary with one benefit of drinking coffee is that it can improve what? Okay. So try to continue this, uh, complete this uh, this summary. Okay. 
Okay, good. You can see that uh, some responses. Okay, I can see that somebody is asking about paraphrasing. Uh, you may paraphrase if you want to, but uh, for the purpose of this class, okay, if you feel that you want to take directly from the text, also can, okay? But if you want to start paraphrasing it, yes, you may. But make sure when you paraphrase the word or you when you paraphrase the sentence, it doesn't change the meaning of the original sentence. Or the word that you change doesn't change the... Uh, must have the same uh, level or must have the same degree, okay? You cannot suggest the word. You cannot suggest your idea. If you are paraphrasing, you have to make sure your sentences are as same, uh, carry the same meaning with what is portrayed in the text. Okay, good. Yes, for summary, we need 10 points. But for the purpose of this class, we only have one hour. I cannot go through with all of you 10 points because some of you are quick. Some of you might be a little bit slow. Or, so we need to cater the need of everyone here. So that's why I only stop at four. And then I'm going to tell you how and uh, when to put the sequence connectors. Okay, good. Okay, so so I try to to summarize everything, just put everything in one paragraph, and let's take a look at how we can change this into a a summary. Okay, so the red one is actually uh, the compulsory ones, so you cannot change it. The red one is compulsory one given by the question and uh, given together with the question, which is one benefit of drinking coffee is that it can improve what? Okay. So, for example, now we have the first point, which is drinking coffee can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. So we can uh, omit the word drinking coffee can improve because that is already in the in the question itself. Okay, so one the benefit of drinking coffee is that it can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. And then you have proven to aid fat burning. So you have to ask yourself, who or what is proven to aid fat burning? Obviously, it's going to be the coffee. So uh, it is proven to aid fat burning. Okay, so next you just add two words, which is it is proven to eat fat burning. And then you have the next point, which is can improve physical performance. Okay, so we ask ourselves again, who or what can improve physical performance? Remember, we are writing about drinking coffee. So it must be drinking coffee can improve physical performance. Okay. Or you can just combine these two sentences. It is proven to eat fat burning and put a conjunction in the middle can improve physical performance. Okay. So the thing that we can give or we can put there is the word and. So it is proven to eat fat burning and can improve physical performance. Okay. And finally, you have have a much lower risk of uh, getting type 2 diabetes. So what uh, have or who have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes? Okay. Okay, so who have much lower risk of getting type 2, type 2 diabetes? It's going to be people who drink coffee, or we can say coffee drinkers. So coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes. 
Okay. Okay, eight fat burning means it helps to burn fat. Eight mean help. Fat burning means burn your fat. So uh, eight fat burning means um, help to burn fat. Okay, I hope that answer your question. Okay, and finally, we have the summary, which is one benefit of coffee is that it can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. It is proven to aid fat burning and can improve physical performance. Coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes. Okay, I can see that some of you are asking uh, regarding a number of points. Yes, we need 10 to 12 points, okay, when you are reading the whole text. But as I said earlier, due to the limitation of time, I can only go to with you together, uh, discover the four points, identify the uh, unnecessary points and so on, and we can do this together, okay. Now we have 41 words, right? Okay, so... Before this, uh, some of you in the uh, some of you might be asking because I can see in your responses that you have uh, included sequence connectors, for example. So my question is, should we use sequence connectors? Okay. So maybe yes, no, not sure. So for example, this is our, our summary. The summary which is uh, one benefit during coffee is that it can improve your energy levels and make you smarter. It is proven to aid uh, fat burning and can improve physical performance. Coffee drinkers have a much lower risk of getting type 2 diabetes. We haven't included any sequence connectors. Should we put it or shouldn't we put it? Okay. Right now, without the uh, sequence connectors, we still can have uh, the sentences well written and it is understandable. Okay. And it's only 41 words, meaning we have 41. If we are adding sequence connectors, remember the word is now adding sequence connectors meaning we are adding more words so for example we put next and then it's going to be 42 okay next it is proven to aid fat burning and can improve physical performance and it becomes 42 words and finally you put the word finally and now it becomes 43 words okay without the sequence connectors our summary is still understandable and it only has 41 words. Now, with the uh, sequence connectors added, we are adding more words actually. Okay. So, to answer your question, okay, because this question has been asked uh, several times in my Google form, the, the previous class. So, I would like to respond to this. Yes, but make sure after we have added the sequence connectors, our summary doesn't exceed the word limit. Okay. Yeah. So make sure we have added the sequence connectors. Our summary doesn't exceed the word limit. Remember, in SPM, we're only allowed to write 120 to 120 plus 10 words given, so 130. Okay, maybe your teacher say that, yeah, we can negotiate one or two sentences, but actually, no. Try to make it 120, okay, plus the 10 words given. Okay, so, and then if we feel that we really need that sequence connectors, for example, we have written our summary and we only have 110 words. So, yes, you may include sequence connectors. But if you have written all your points, without the sequence connectors and it's already 120 words, we can just ignore sequence connectors 
because what is important is that your point okay because if you have a lot of points we get if you have uh, 15 points for example in your 120 essay that is much more beneficial rather than you have uh, eight points with beautifully crafted uh, summary with second connectors conjunctions and so on so make sure we fo our focus in writing summary is the content point itself so sequence connectors function as a makeup okay like girls they like to wear makeup they are already beautiful but they wear makeups okay so same like summary your summary is already 120 words so 130 words if you put makeup okay or unnecessary makeup is going to be exceeding the word limit okay so that is a simple analogy okay uh, Punit asking about uh, affecting language marks. Okay, so in terms of uh, SPM, there are a few ways for examiners to mark your essay. Uh, I cannot tell you what the examiners, uh, how examiners should do it because that is actually, uh, we are sworn to secrecy. Uh, and I, uh, but in my opinion, what the good thing to do is to make sure you have your points uh, you don't change words that can change the meaning of the sentences from the original text. So that's much more important for me as a teacher when we are teaching summary, okay? Because uh, in summary writing, what is important is that you have your points and it is uh, following the answering the question. And if you feel that you need that sequence connectors, you really need this, that sequence connectors, and you want to cut down certain number of words, make sure the sentence or your content point is uh, understandable, okay? If you leave one or two words from your sentence, just because you want to put sequence connectors, and the effect is your sentence might not be uh, accepted as content point. So just think wisely which one to use. That's why when doing summary, it's not a one day thing to do. You have to do a lot of practices. Okay, you you must make sure that uh, you, you do a lot of practices so that you know, okay, for this kind of summary, you have to put sequence connectors and voila, your summary is good. Or you can take, uh, you can just write your summary without sequence connectors and still good. Okay, so do a lot of practices because every year the questions are uh, changing. Okay. Because I think when I took my SPM, it's not that difficult, but I think uh, recently the questions are quite tough for you guys. So practice makes perfect. So when writing summary, you have to write and practice doing it. Okay, so I guess we are towards the end of this session. Um, I, I can see that my face on uh, YouTube is uh, uh, stuck somewhere, I, I also in Facebook, but my, my slides are running, so that's still good. Um, so we are going to uh, sum up, okay, right now, what we are doing so that everybody is uh, on the right track, okay? So um, in short, what we are doing today is uh, to make sure that everybody, when doing your summary, you read the text carefully, underline the points, ignore unnecessary details, uh, write the summary and count number of words. That is very important. Okay. So, uh, teach story summary next time, please. Story summary. Okay. Okay. Yvonne asked uh, whether the connectors is unnecessary, but it make our summary looks good. Uh, as I said earlier, the connectors are important if your number of words are less than 120. So you can put your your uh, content, uh, uh, connectors, okay, connecting words, okay? But if you feel that when you write summary, you have included all your points and you have already reached 120 words, you can just stop uh, at there, okay, without adding more uh Sequent connectors, okay. Uh, story summary, if you 
Oh, okay. I mean to say that summary, but the questions are about uh, are in summary, uh, in narrative. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. So, yeah, good. So, this one is actually we're uh, talking about benefits. So, it's going to be very clear. Okay, you can see uh, the words, the positive words that mean it is uh, some a uh, benefit. But when it comes to a uh, story, it's going to be quite quite tricky. So, yeah, that's good. So, we are going to go to that uh, in our next session. Okay. Uh, to 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 write a summary using narrative okay because there are uh, possibilities that that kind of uh, essay might go out in your spm or in your later life okay uh, so that's good okay so good so i guess that's uh, the end so so our objective for today is to identify main points good Leave out unimportant details, good. Write a summary of a given text, also good. So we are done, I guess. And if you have further questions or suggestions, okay. So uh, I've given you the, the link over here, gg.gg exit ticket, exit 050620. Okay, gg.gg slash exit 050620. That's for today's session. So if you have anything to say, you have anything to ask, anything to suggest for our next class, please do so. I'm very happy to help because our session today is actually based on your questions, on your requests. Okay, so I don't want to be here teaching something that you don't want to hear. I'm going to teach something that you want to hear. Okay, so I guess, uh, oh, is that capital letter? So GG, small GG, yeah? GG dot GG, exit. All small caps, all small caps. Good. Wonderful. GG dot GG, all small caps. Exit also small cap, 050620. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, if you have anything to ask, uh, you can go to my Facebook. You can uh, spam my IG. You can email me directly, uh, hazwanhn at gmail.com or hazwanhn at edd.edu at my. .my. So see you next time. Uh, Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for teachers, uh, students over here. Uh, if you are teachers over here, thank you, teachers, for participating in this lesson. If you are students, thank you as well. If you are parents over here, thank you as well for joining our class. You can watch the same recording in uh, uh, on, the face, uh, on the Facebook as well as on YouTube. So see you when I see you. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Okay, let's go back. To the studio. Okay, uh, terima kasih diucapkan kepada Zuan. Okay, uh, terima kasih kepada semua uh, pelajar yang setia sampai ke akhir. Eh. Alhamdulillah. Okay, diharap uh, agak sedikit sebanyak uh, faham tentang tajuk summary ni. Eh, SPM model test paper ni. Uh, eh. Okay, okay, jadi. Uh, saya mewakili uh, JU EDD Perak dan juga EDD Malaysia mengucapkan terima kasih kepada sehazuan di atas perkongsian sebentar tadi dan juga tanya kepada semua pelajar yang setia sehingga ke akhir eh. Okay, uh, boleh subscribe channel uh, YouTube EDD untuk menonton semula, untuk melihat semula sesi rakaman tadi dan juga kelas-kelas yang lain. Okay. Uh, dan uh, stay tuned semua. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.